Hey Playa, the burning question. You might be wondering if someone at your age should be having sex. Your friends may be telling you that they do it all the time, but studies show that 66.8% of teenagers aren't having sex. So how young is too young to have sex? I'll explain right after this. If you ask an adult, most of them will tell you that 16, 15, even 14 is way too young to be having sex. However, statistics show that on average, guys lose their virginity at the age of 16.9 and girls at the age of 17.4. So to all the adults out there living in a fantasy world, trust me, I remember when I was 16.9 years old and all I could think about was sex. The thing is, age really isn't the only thing we should be looking at if we want to determine if someone's ready to start. Sex, for all intensive purposes, is a social activity, one in which you share with someone else. So one big thing you need to look at before you do it is whether or not you and your partner are mature and responsible enough to get it on. There seems to be this underlying pressure to have sex in high school because that's just what a lot of other kids are doing. Your body is changing, you're starting to feel all these things, and you're starting to see other guys or girls as being really hot. But the most important thing to know before you have sex is that there's a chance you can get pregnant, there's a potential to get STDs, and there's a safe way to do it. There are a lot of different types of birth control options out there, but for someone young like you, chances are you're gonna stumble on condoms first, which is why I wanna to talk to you guys about a condom company that I really, really like and really support. L condoms are made of high quality, ultra comfortable, and vegan friendly latex material, which means that unlike other condoms which contain tons of chemicals, you won't be putting that stuff on your private parts. They're super comfortable, and I'm not saying that to be weird with you guys, but they help prevent the spread of STDs and pregnancy, so you may want to think about using them. That's not the only reason though. One of the main reasons why I support L is that for every condom sold, they donate a condom to a developing country where safe sex practices aren't really even practiced. A lot of adults think that they can just ignore it, that by not talking to teenagers about sex, that they're just not gonna have it. There are kids in college, high school, and middle school already having sex. So I think the question really isn't, are you too young to have sex? but instead, are you prepared at your age to have sex? I want you guys to know that I'm not promoting sex at a young age here. I think it's really important to get to know someone before you do that with them because it's a very intimate process. In fact, I would even recommend you stick with kissing, which is exactly what I talk about in my video here where I explain why kissing is better than sex. What do you think? Are people your age that you know already having sex? Leave your comment below so we can talk about it. If you're not gonna listen to my advice and have sex anyway, then make sure to head over to thisisl.com and order your set of condoms now. If you use the coupon code MAKELOVE40, then you'll get 40% off your first order. Don't let peer pressure force you into having sex. Be your best self by being safe and doing it at the age that's right for you. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I make a new video every Tuesday where I share tips and advice on how you can be your best self. Also, if you want to help support and donate to the channel The Josh Speaks to watch it grow, click the Patreon link down below. Also, I want to give two quick shout outs to Tanner Cardoza, who asked me for a shout out. You can follow him over on Twitter. I'm going to link his Twitter down below. And Andrew Molinaris, who was my SummerSlam buddy and was going back and forth with me as we were watching the matches. As always, guys, love and peace.